So next we're going to create our walls. So currently we just have our floor and if we click on it once we can tell that it's a group because it lights up everything like that. So double check that before you get started otherwise you'll have problems. First thing we need to do, we need to draw a new rectangle over the surface of this floor because right now it's all part of that group. We need a separate rectangle. So I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to come up to the top corner, just click and come down to the bottom corner like this. Doesn't look like it did anything, but now I can click that top surface. You can see that it's selected. The reason it's kind of glitchy as we orbit is because we're seeing the two surfaces that share the same space. Okay, so next thing, we're going to offset. So we have a perimeter, like a border around the outside for our walls. So we're gonna hit F for offset, which is this tool right here. Shortcut is F. I'm gonna click just somewhere in the middle. Click and release. Then I'm gonna come in a little bit. I'm just gonna type four inches. Enter, make sure you type, like hold down the shift key and then hit quote. Don't just type apostrophe, apostrophe. It looks the same, but it reads different on the computer. Enter, okay, there's my perimeter. So that's gonna be for my outside walls. For my interior walls, I need to create some guidelines to do that. So I'm going to begin by using my tape measure tool, which is right here. The shortcut is T for tape measure. To create guidelines, you do not want to pick a corner. You want to pick just a random spot along the line. So I'm just going to start here. I'm going to click and then move my mouse over to the right. It's lit up so it's on the red axis. I'm going to type nine feet, enter. And then I'm going to come down from the back wall 10 feet, enter, notice it's lit up green, so we know we're parallel to that axis. Okay, I'm going to just throw a dimension on here so you can see, see those a little better. You do not need to add these. Okay, I'm going to draw a line over the top of these, and I don't need to come from the outside because this wall is gonna start right there. So I'm just gonna draw a line to here and then to the back. Now, this area of the floor is one section, and that is its own section right there. This is going to be the bedroom, this is going to be the bathroom, and this will be kind of open kitchen, living, dining combined. So next, we need a thickness to our interior wall because this has a thickness to it, this one does not. So we're going to use our offset tool again. I'm just going to click in here. We're going to offset it. Instead of to the inside, we're going to come to the outside this time. Four inches. Enter. And then we have a little bit of trimming to do. So right over here, I don't need this little piece where it crosses. So I'm going to delete that out. Same thing up here. I got a little piece there. So we'll get rid of that. Just use your eraser tool. Okay. And then we're going to extend this wall here. We want it to extend all the way to this side. So I'm just going to use my line tool and extend that straight to the end over the top of our guideline. Then I'll come to this corner and extend that all the way till we hit the wall. It'll light up red like that. Otherwise, you're just going at a random angle. Like that. And then we have this little spot here. That guy we can delete. And that looks pretty good. We can get rid of our guidelines. Um, you can select them and delete them individually, or you can also go up to Edit, Delete Guides, and I'll just get rid of all of them that you have on there. Lastly, we need to get, make our walls 3D, give them some height. So I'm going to hit P for push-pull. I'm going to pick my interior walls first because it's easier to see. Click it and release, and then give it a direction. So I push my mouse upward. Eight feet, enter. And we'll do the same thing for the exterior wall. Eight feet, enter. And there are all of our walls. We are going to hit File, Save. Title it Tiny House if you have not yet, and you should be good to go.